and welcome to Tech on Web channel. Today we are discussing why do we need this at the rate null label and not null annotation in Android. Well, to have different perspective, let's say interviewer might ask you that if we have not null annotation, why do we need if else condition like this, right? Why do we need it? Well, there is another two question that interviewer might ask you is that Kotlin have has specific uh, functionalities over Java, right? Kotlin has null safety, which is most important point in Kotlin that has null safety operations. Well, if Java has at the rate not null annotation, why do we need Kotlin? A different perspective from the interviewer, right? And if this at the rate not null annotation isn't doing anything, why do we need it? That is third type of question the interviewer might ask you. Let's get proper agenda. Why do we need this, right? So first thing comes first. We have created one class in which we have two methods. One is obviously check not null entry with at the rate non null annotation and another with check null entry method with null level type, right? Here we are just creating an object and we are passing null value to non null method and ABC to null level method. Well, Let's do one thing. When we run code, you might think that it's going to throw some error, right? Well, it's not. Here it's working fine. So why do we need these annotations? Well, first, it's not going to throw any errors. But in the cases that if developer change, like I wrote this method and someday you are the one who is going to uh, solve one bug, then you should have proper idea that this variable is going to be nullable. So you need to check if it's null, then do something. And if it's not null, then do this, something like that. That is important. And that's why we have this kind of annotation in first place. So if interviewer ask you that why it's there, and what's the benefit if we have these annotations then why do we need Kotlin so just tell them that these annotations are not going to throw any runtime exception they are just there for developers use case that this is going to be null and this is not going to be null and so when you are using it you just need to check okay this is not nullable then I should just go and use the variable. If it's nullable, then I should not go and use the value. I should properly check if it's null, do this, and if it's not, do that. That is main thing, right? Second thing, here in Java, we are not having any compile time errors, but in Kotlin, we do have because in Kotlin, Kotlin checks every annotation out there. If it's not null, then it's going to show null cannot be a value of non null type string. Because what it's doing is, it's checking this annotation. And if we go and check, I think it's going to be here. Kotlin show byte code, decompile right so yeah uh, you need to check this out the compile method and uh, let's say where where is the where is the variable yeah so here is the variable here we just declare that here is the context so see java is not going to show any error right so why kotlin does is well 
Kotlin checks at the rate not nullable annotation internally. This is not scope of Java. See, so that is the reason why you should have this kind of annotation. If we run it, it's going to be shown error, right? That's that's the reason that you need to give to the interviewer. I hope you liked it. To subscribe the channel or comment on the video. See you next time.